Hello there. So I've received a lot of questions about this painting after posting some pictures. And so I thought I'd put together a video of my process for you. I've never done a voiceover before, so please bear with me as I try and get through this for you. And um, I've tried to cut the video down to five minutes from its original 20. In this first part, you'll see me putting down some inks. I'm just gonna create a background with uh, alcohol inks uh, by Ranger Mermaid monsoon and vineyard. I'm just kind of keeping them wet with a, an alcohol ink spray bottle that I have there and just dabbing it onto my Upo paper. In my original painting I had a darker spot in the center so I created a little bit of a darker spot um, intentionally with a dab of alcohol ink um, on this particular painting when I was creating this. Um, so you can see to create my first layer of petals I'm using Snowcap by Ranger, putting a small pool and adding a little bit of alcohol, 91% isopropyl. And then I'm using my airbrush at about 45 PSI, I think is about what I had it set at. And I'm kind of blowing at the center at first to kind of get the petal to spread out a little bit wider and then just pushing the air along the edge to guide it towards the edge of the page. I also wanted it to be a little bit more of a pinwheel style flower where it looks like the petals are all going in one direction. And so I focused most of my air on that one side of the petal you can see as I'm working my way around. There's little pauses in between as I'm waiting for my uh, air compressor to warm back up again. So when you see me take little pauses in between the petals, that's what I'm doing. For this is just pure snow cap. I did not add any additional alcohol to get that um, much more opaque white that I'm putting down. To get the texture in the petals, you'll see I blow kind of at the very center to get the petal started and then move my airbrush even closer to start to create some of those lines in the petals. So for my third layer what i was showing you there that is an alloy by ranger this one is called foundry i put two drops and then added two drops of isopropyl and gave it a little burst at the center and then just like the other petals kind of use it just to push it out and along the edge for the alloys i've noticed i don't necessarily always focus on drying them completely when i'm pushing them out towards the edge um, sometimes if you overwork it you don't get as much of that fun separation as you can kind of see the metallic and it starts to separate like that um, that happens when i give it kind of a few short bursts of air from my airbrush and then let it kind of dry where it sits Like that one in particular was still pretty wet towards the end but I just kind of let it sit there and it dries in those neat little patterns I do also think on the flower from the original picture I think that I did one drop of the alloy and one drop of alcohol to be honest i think these petals are turned out a little bit bigger so you could always experiment and try with one drop instead of two and see what you get also depends on the size of the flower the rest of the painting here i'm just kind of showing you how i lightly put in a stem and uh, kind of the hint of a leaf afterwards and then finally at the end i'll use some posca at the center just to kind of give it those, I don't, I don't know what you call the, the center of the, the lily flower. So um, for the next couple of minutes, you just kind of see me finish up this project here. For the, the leaf on, on this, all I did, as you could see there, is I just added a little bit of alcohol to the background that was already there. I didn't add any color or anything extra, and just to kind of create the hint of it. Again, the focus of the picture was really the bloom. So 
I didn't feel that there needed to be too much extra emphasis on the actual stem and the leaf. For the center on this one, you can see I just kind of lined in the center for the flower with my Posca pen, give it a little bit of highlight with my white Posca pen. Kind of hard to see in the video there but there you go thanks for watching